okay so this is the question before us um this was c 2016 all right so we have to copy and complete the table for the values of let's say y equals to x squared minus 5x plus 5 and for the interval x should be greater or equal to negative 1 and then if it should be less or equal to 6 all right so we are going to complete the table and look at the table below we are going to draw the same table and then we complete it all right now let's um first start okay let's start by answering the first question the first question says that we should copy and complete the table so let's copy and complete the table so with the first question we are asked to copy and complete the table of values there so the value the values were given to us okay so these are the values these are the x values from negative one to six and we are going to arrange it this way this is the same we are going to draw we are going to have a column for the x squared we must have a column for the negative five x then a column for the five all right so we are going to compute everything. that's where we have it here all right so five squared sorry negative one squared is one all right then zero squared if you want to use the calculator you can use the calculator by punching negative one put the negative one in the bracket and then you square it it should get positive one okay so zero squared is one one squared is one two squared last that's all that six squared is that's six then you're going to multiply negative five by x and x is negative one so negative five multiplied by negative one even you can use your calculator if you think you're not very sure of it you can use the calculator some people have problems with the negative sign they don't know when it becomes positive you know when it becomes negative in that order so this negative and negative becomes positive so we have negative five multiplied by negative one we should get positive five you know number multiplied by zero should give you zero negative five multiplied by one should give you negative um five and in that order you complete it. now this five does not have any value like any um x all right so we are going to just repeat the same five here and that's how come we got all this now what we are going to do to get y is that we are going to add all these three columns one two three we get this one two three we add to get this we add this to get this we add this to get it that's all that so this is what you're going to get boom that's where we have it here so this is what you're going to get if we add one plus five we get six six plus five is eleven zero plus zero plus five should give you five one plus negative five plus five should give me positive one and that's what you can use the calculator to punch it and you're going to get the same thing all right so there is it and what's so interesting about um quadratic equation is that as soon as you get to the turning point this negative one and negative one here what happens is that whatever value that's here if you are sure that this is correct write the same thing there whatever value you had here you can write it there at this side and then this if only you are sure that whatever you have done there is correct so what going to do next we are asked to um, use a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit on the um, x-axis and then two centimeters to two units on the y-axis we're going to draw a graph for this particular uh, function that's x squared minus 5x plus 5 okay for the interval right so let's do that and see so this is a graph you're going to get okay and according to what we were given we are asked to use two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis and you can see that this is um this is just a rough sketch okay so you can get a graph book and try it it's very necessary that you try it on an on a um a graph sheet okay so that you can get you can see if you get the same values and you get so that you can get the actual values because i'm going to use estimated values i'm not going to use the real one okay so here so we are asked to use every two centimeter is one. Well, I'm guessing that from here to here is two centimeters. Okay. So from here to here is two centimeters, and that's um, one unit. Okay. So another two centimeters, we have two. So up to six. On a graph sheet, you can num you can number in that this order up to six to be. And the next was that on the y axis we are going to use two centimeters to two units. So we are guessing that from here to here is two centimeters, and that's two units. That's four, six, eight, ten, and then twelve. Note something. Note something. Drawing the the axis, the x and the y axis. What you need to do is that when you take a look, a close look at the values of the x, you realize that the maximum positive value for the x was x. That's the maximum, and then the minimum was negative one. Therefore, you have to make sure you shift, you shift this y axis. To this side, don't divide it equally. Don't divide it equally. 
try and shift it to this side so you can get enough space to number up to maybe seven that's that's the advisable number at least it should get to seven if you try to divide it equally you have you will get up to five on the x axis on the on the on the normal graph sheet and if you try to divide the x axis into two in that like what most students used to do you are going to you will be able to number only up to up to five so try shifting the y axis a little bit to the negative side of the x axis hope that's very clear i hope so so let's quickly try and then plot the values because we, we have been asked to draw the graph for the function so let's plot the values so what i'm going to do is that i'll go back to my uh, table so i'm going to use the table to 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 graph so i'll go back to my table and i can see that when my x coordinate is negative one my y becomes 11 so what i'm going to do is that where is negative one is negative one and where is 11 so i assume that my 11 should be somewhere i hope here all right let's take it and see if that's that's it okay so i will just plot the it i know i'm sure you all know how to plot um the coordinates of a point so uh, i'm just going to do it okay so these are the points here 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 all right i made a little correction here um according to the 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 scale that was given to us y axis should be every two centimeters to two units so i made a little mistake here and i've corrected that okay so let's quickly move on so you could see that zero the coordinate zero and five we have this zero on the x axis five on the y axis and that's it one on the x axis one on the y axis so one on x axis one on y axis so we have this and then two a negative one so you have two and negative one and that's all that and i have it here so what you're going to do is i'm going to draw a smooth curve through the points and it should be smooth because if it's not smooth you're going to be penalized for it we're going to do that some marks for it so let's see how you're going to do it. <laughs> i made a little mistake here so uh, it's not a real graph sheet it's just a sketch and this is how it's going to be if you don't get anything like this I meaning you are wrong to find the minimum value of y root of that's x squared minus 5x plus 5 equals 0 then that's using the graph you can't use your calculator this time but you can use it to help you to get a clue on how to go about it but please this time you have to use the graph graph your graphic the graph they have drawn okay so i will teach you how you let's see now please note that you will need to do this in your answer booklet you do this on the graph sheets the next that is the c part you're going to do it um outside the graph sheet that's in your answer booklet okay so what we're going to do is that we say that then find the minimum value of y so you write i the minimum value value of y is equal to sorry that's right from the you need to quote that yeah you need to say from the graph must refer to the graph so okay so from the graph the minimum value of y it occurs here when we trace upwards we get the we get the x value but when we trace to this side we get the y value because this is the y axis okay so the minimum value is going to be so it's not going to be on the two no it's definitely not going to be on the two because it's going to curve it will be a little bit you see this one is just a sketch so you might not get the exact value but if you use your graph sheet you should get the exact value and you should get somewhere y will be equal to either i am guessing either 1.2 1.3 or 1.4 it's going to be a little bit over the negative one okay sorry negative mm, should be negative 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 yeah so either negative 1.2, negative 1.3, or negative 1.4. Any of them, I am sure, I'm positive that this answer will be correct. Because if this is negative 1 on the y-axis, then a little bit over it should be around 
1.2 or 1.3 yes somewhere there so that's that's it so from the graph from your graph you will be able to determine that and that's how i'm saying you're, you're, you're just going to wherever the minimum value here the minimum value here the minimum value here so just use and it's very very important to use a ruler to make a dotted line from this point to wherever you are going to read your y coordinate from okay so in this case this place so you make the, the dotted lines up to this side and that's all that's it so now the second question i i we are asked to find the root of x squared minus 5x plus 5 equals to 0 now from the graph again that was a way to quote so from the graph from the graph comma the root it's not going to be one it's going to be two so you see the root of x squared minus 5x plus 5 equal to 0 is x equal to what and x equal to what so let's use a graph this is how you do it from the graph what when we say the root of the 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 function or the equation of this particular equation what we are saying is that go to your graph sheet wherever the the curve touches the x axis that becomes the root so from here you could see that this curve is touching the x axis at this point and also at this point okay so when you use your graph sheet wherever value that will be here you read it now let me help you a little now because we are going to use two centimeters to one unit and the smaller lines on the graph sheet are 10 before you get to this particular two centimeters each of them is going to be one centimeter sorry 0 0.1 centimeter sorry sorry 0 0.1 centimeter so if you count 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 in that order when you get to the one the next smaller line will be 1.1 go to 1.2 1.3 maybe it could be around 1.3 so here might be 1.3 1.3 or x is equal to what so this be a second one here is three so you have 3.1 3.2 like that i'm sure you should get something uh maybe 3.5 or 6 maybe 3.6 or 7 i don't know it should be somewhere there all right it should be somewhere so you should get the exact value okay and that's how you're going to do it uh, so that is it this place each smaller line should be equal to 0.2 so we have 0 0.2 cause it's going to be 10 okay it's going to be 10 so we multiply the 0 0.2 multiply by 10 you should get 2 okay. so that's it so if you are going to calculate it you have here is going to be i think one okay one so you go to one one point um two one point four one point six and that's what that so you get to this one okay so that's it so like i was saying it should be around 1.2 or 1.3 1.4 if you get anything beyond that please it's wrong it's wrong finally the third question i i i say is that we are going to find a solution of x squared plus 2x plus 5 equal to 7x plus 2 according to the question what you're going to do is you're going to write this equation so you're going to solve it all this should be on the answer booklet okay so we are going to solve it what we are going to do is that you have to write your given equation as the x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 7x plus 2 now grouping of like terms move every, you should move everything to this side to equate it to zero so if you have to move this here and this one too to this side we are going to get sorry plus two i'm going to get x squared plus this 2x minus 7x all right plus this 5 minus 2 should be equal to 0 we are equating it to 0 like i said okay so let me just bring every okay let's continue so we have x squared plus this and this should give us negative 5x okay um plus 3 should equal to 0 all right so let me bring this this thing here so that we can solve from there so we have 
let me just bring the same thing so we have our x squared sorry x squared minus 5x plus 3 equal to 0 now this is what we are going to have now the next step is that write your given equation because you're going to use the graph to solve this you're not going to use quadratic um, formula you're not going to use any other method apart from the graph that you have drawn this particular graph here that's what you're going to use to solve this so you have to use the this equation this this graph the equation for this graph just must write this under it same right under it so you're going to have x squared minus 5x plus 5 is equal to 0 just as it was given okay so this is what we're going to have we're going to subtract now so what we do is that the subtraction should go to this the subtraction should go to the equation that was given to you according to the question eh? that's where the subtraction should affect not your original graph not this particular equation not this equation the question that you picked from here not the, the subtraction should go here now we are going to add we're going to, sorry subtract this from this we subtract this from this so when we subtract this and this it should go zero this and this note that this is negative we'll now change this to positive and then when we should if we should subtract we're going to get it just could cancel right it's zero now this negative will make this negative three Negative three and then the five, we should get positive what two, right? What I normally do is we put a zero here. You subtract zero when a zero is zero. We know that um, this two should now be equal to the function y. Right? So that's it. We have this. So when y is equal to two, when y is equal to two, what will be the value of x? That's the solution set of this particular equation. And that's all. Very simple. So let's now look for y equal to two. So where is y equal to two? Okay. Right. It's y equal to two. So what we do is that we're going to make a line. Uh, y equal to two is a straight line. So you say a ruler, make dotted lines, or a straight line. I don't know. Anyone goes. So you do this. Mm, should pass here. Now when you are done, what you do is that you write uh, y equal to two on it. To show that you're using the graph okay now this just line is very very important you must do it now that you are done what you do is that the point that touches the graph trace it downwards trace this onto downwards and read this should be around 0 0.7 so let me write this right 0 0.7 here 0 0.7 here so or so or x will be equal to what so x will be equal to 0 0.7 or x let me two sets because it's touching it's going to touch the x axis and you know the curve of the curve need to have two values so with this one the second value should be i guess if my my drawing was right i'm sure we should get somewhere around four point something because my, my drawing is not right i don't know so you should get something around 4.1 okay so x either you get x equal to 0 0.7 or x is equal to 4.1 okay i don't know but whatever you get please leave it in the comment section for me so that i know if you did the right thing or not okay so thank you so much and um, i will i will see you in the next video